and there we are hello everyone it's maya and i'm going to be doing a more chatty video today i like to get your guys's input i want to find out about your lives your interests your issues issues i really like giving advice to people i don't know if that's normal or if it's weird but i i kind of like it when people come to me to the problems and i can like give my my side of the story i mean i did a level psychology and i got pretty good grades so basically qualified. <laughs> so this video is very much inspired by Sophia and Chinzia because I absolutely bloody love them. I watch them for literally hours a day and they do kind of boy talk and girl talk videos and I love both so I'm just gonna kind of do a little mishmash. I asked you lot on my Instagram, it's here. If you haven't followed me already, I post some pretty bomb pics. And I put on my story last night for you lot to DM me your boy slash girly issues. So I can talk about it in a video. Everything's anonymous so no one could be like, you know, if they're slagging off the best friend, I'm not gonna call them out by name and ruin a friendship. <laughs> some of these are making me realize how horrible people can be. Like human beings need to get a grip sometimes because like, Jesus Christ. Okay, this girl says, I am having problems with my crush. He keeps leaving me on read and then hangs out with me and holds my hand, but then won't talk to me for a week. Help. Also love that you're doing this. I love that I'm doing this too. And wow, you are in a bit of a sticky situation. I feel very sorry for you because your feelings are probably getting really hurt by what he's doing. And what he's doing is kind of manipulate, big word, manipulating you. To, be, to kind of fit into his life where you want him to fit in. It's kind of screaming out to me that he doesn't want commitment. Like he doesn't want the commitment of a girlfriend that he has to talk to all the time and like has to pay attention to all the time. You know what I mean? Because I'm a, I'm a needy girlfriend, I need to tell you that. But the fact that he's like giving you one signal when you're together and like holding your hand and everything like that, which is clearly like a romantic and affectionate gesture. And then when you're not together, he's like blanking you. Mm. he's a mind meddler he is not a good person by the sounds of it he does not know what he wants this oh this this kid's annoying me he needs to get a grip he wants his hooks in you basically so he wants to keep you kind of latched on to him and loyal to him in a way because he's giving you these like affectionate signals but he doesn't want anything more than that it sounds like because he's leaving you on read and you deserve someone who is all for you girl you need someone who worships the ground you work on what that worships the ground you walk on and knows 100% that they want you not someone that is like oh I want you bye no no those people will just mess your mind up and it will negatively impact your life I think the only thing to do here I think you should basically personally I do it when you're with him because like he could be all affectionate towards you and then you can just be like whoa 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 mate mate I want all or nothing, basically. What the hell is going on here? How do you feel about me? Because you're showing me that you feel one way one day and then the next day it's like I'm a ghost. You know what I mean? I think you need to get the truth out of him or else you're just gonna be left wondering for ages and it will, it will send you psychotic if you are not told what's cracking on. So I think you just need to find out, but he doesn't sound like he knows what he wants. Right, this girl says, okay, so I have had somewhat of a crush on a guy since middle school, but have never let it get too far because I know I have no chance with him, but he has barely acknowledged my existence. But recently I peer pressured myself into telling him that I think he's cute and he doesn't know that I'm the one who told him and I'm scared that he'll find out it was me or laugh or tell his friends or embarrass me. Right. Hmm. First of all, congratulations on telling him you're cute. That was a big step. Why do I keep doing that with my hair? Anyway, that's a big step and I'm sure that was scary to do. Honestly, I think what you need to do is just come out with it. Just somehow find a way or just build up your confidence and just absolutely go for it and be like, dude, I think you're pretty cute. Or like try and message him like more. Try, try and build a friendship with him. Set a solid base. Or like message him so he actually you know acknowledges your existence and just start to like see who you are and then bite the bullet and be like yo i, th I think you're pretty cool i like you do you want to see each other sometime because you only regret the chances that you didn't take 
And if you don't try, you'll never know. You get where I'm coming from? So you don't want to be there wondering for years. Like, oh, will he ever like me, me? Is he ever gonna like me back? If you even just start to get to know him, that'll plant the seed, you know what I mean? And it could blossom it into a beautiful flower where he could be like, yes, wow, where have you been all my life? But I think you need to tell him. I don't think you should tell him straight away because that might be like, whoa, I, I don't even really know who you are. This is a bit strange. Like, try and build a bit of a bond and then just be like, Jared, you're the one for me. <laughs> well, this next one's a long one, okay. There is this boy in my class that I really like. Let's call him A and another boy called B. I really like boy A, but he only has a small amount of interest in me, if even that, and I can't seem to get him to like me. My friend also likes him, but she's kind of overprotective about him. I don't want to bombard him into a relationship because everyone is only human and he has a voice, but I just want to help. I just want him to help me make our relationship stronger. I kind of like boy B for a while, and I still do, but he's too no too nervous to talk to me after an awkward conversation where I screwed up and now it's just too awkward for a relationship. Who should I try and make an effort with for our relationship or should I just leave it all together? Right, it sounds to me that boy A, I think the main point of this is you cannot force someone to like you, which is which is one of the saddest things in the entire world, even if you like someone. You, you cannot make them like you back. They have to do it on their own terms. They have to do it in their own time. If they decide that they don't like you after a while of them liking you, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And it is one of the most heartbreaking things in the world. If, if you really like this boy A, you should try and like message him. Just like build up a friendship, get to know each other, see how it goes. Don't dive straight into like flirting relationship, marry, marry me, have my children all that don't jump, don't jump straight into that even though you probably want that just kind of like get to know each other because the likelihood is that boy a doesn't really know much about you and you can't make a decision about liking someone if you don't really know who they are but my friend also likes boy a but she's kind of overprotective about him i think this is very situation dependent I think you'd kind of need to gauge how your friend and boy A are with each other. Like, is there a potential there? Does he like her? How much does she like him? How serious is this all to her? And then kind of go from there. But if you really are kind of concerned about that, friends do come first, unfortunately, sometimes. <laughs> Boyfriends come and go. Friends will always be there for you. So have a, converse, have a mature conversation with your friend and be like, sup. I think you know that I like him because you've probably told her if you're if you're like close friends. How how are you feeling about this? Have you talked how much you how much do you talk to him? Should I talk to him? Should I message him? How would you feel about me messaging Toby? So do keep in mind how your friend will feel and make sure like your friendship isn't damaged. But like this could be just a tiny little thing for your friend and she, she might be like, oh, it's a bit crap that you know, my friends got with Toby when I quite liked him, but hey ho, it wasn't that serious in the first place. And you and Toby could end up having this massive, amazing relationship. But in terms of boy B, let's jump in at boy B. You've clarified that you do like boy B. He's too nervous to talk to me. Right, I think boy B is the one to go for because like I said, you can't force boy A to like you. And if you're getting the signs that he doesn't like you, then, that's life, what can you do? You can try, but sometimes, you know, you can't force someone. So, boy B, you like him. You have said you like him. He is too nervous to talk to you because of a conversation that you've had. Right, one conversation is not the make or break of a friendship slash relationship. It's really, really not. If, like, you two are both interested in, in each other, try talking to him a bit more, try messaging him, try and get rid of that awkwardness because it it will turn into something that you just laugh about if it works out for the best. So I'd say, let your heart decide which boy you want to go for, but from what you sent me, boy B sounds like the best bet and see where it flourishes from there. Okay, the next one says, I've been having problems with a fake friend. I can't get out of our friendship because she twists everything to make it seem like it's my fault. Love you so much, really hope you can help. Wow, that's a bit of a crappy situation that you are in. You've been having problems with a fake friend. So you know yourself, she's not a true friend. And the reason why you can't stop being friends with her is because she twists everything to make it seem like it's my fault. Right, so you know yourself that when she twists something to make it seem like it's your fault, it's not your fault. 
Like if she's done something wrong, she has done something wrong to you, it is not your fault. But if it's getting to the point where you're like, come on, you are treating me like absolute crap. I do not want to be friends with you anymore. Even if she tries and twists it on you, just kind of step up and be the bigger person and be like, you know what? I know I'm the good person in this. I know she's treating my, me, but I know she's treating me like crap and I need to walk away from this situation for the sake of my mental health. Honestly, girl, you just gotta leave. You gotta ignore everything she says that apparently you've done. And if she tells other people, then that shows how much of a bad person she is. But you need to leave this situation, 100%. You need to get out. You need to be like, girl, bye. And you will completely find other people that will treat you right and you will love it. You will love them. And you'll be happy that you got out of that friendship because you met other people who treat you right. Here's an interesting one. So I was going out with a boy for over a year and he broke up with me about six weeks ago because he said he had a dark side that he didn't want me to see because he'd end up hurting me. I tried to fight for him and tell him that I didn't care and I just wanted him, but he, want he wasn't bothered and still left. We haven't spoken at all in two weeks, but he's told me that he misses me and wants me back, but doesn't want for me to feel like he's using me for his happiness. What do I do? Shit. Over a year is a long time to be in a relationship. You can, there's some people that get married after only being for a year. So that is, that's a lot of commitment and stuff like that. And you will have a lot of love for this boy. He broke up with you because he said he had a dark side he didn't want you to see and he'd end up hurting you. Honestly, I think that's an excuse. I think that's really painful to hear, but I think that's an excuse. If he loved you and he wanted it to work. Sh shoot, I had, to, shit, what? This is baffling me. He has a dark side. And I'm not gonna lie, if you've been with someone for a year, if he had a dark side, you'd probably already have seen it. You can't, hi you can't hide a whole part of your personality from your other half for a year. Honestly, in this situation, I would meet up with him as friends and have a sit down civil conversation and be like, look, where, where's your head at? What do you want in terms of our relationship? Because you have said you want me back, but you have this dark side apparently. Because he genuinely could have left could have been like, yo, this is my time. This has run its course, I'm gonna leave. And then been like, shit, this Freya is the best thing that's happened to me. I wanna go back and make Freya my bride. So you need to see if he just wants you back just for him to play around with, or if he wants to be in a proper relationship with you, because this is all a bit fishy to me. It's all very, very fishy. What do you feel about this? You haven't told me how you're actually feeling about in terms of wanting him back or not. Basically be like, look, what is what is the reason that you broke up with me because honestly i am not buying this whole dark side thing you would have seen it if you had one i think he's just trying to find a stupid little petty excuse to leave without him admitting the truth so i'd get to the bottom of that firstly did you fall out of love with me and you realized it was a mistake and you want me back or are you just playing with me what do you want just this is so complicated you poo us all i hope it all works out <laughs> So this one's from a boy and it says, basically I was with this girl and then we broke up, but we were still on talking terms. But then she slept with someone else who her best friend and my friend tried to set her up with. So this girl, that is his friend, basically lied about stuff that he had done to make her angry, so to sleep with him. And it was all lies saying that I'd been found out on dates and stuff like that. Anyway, she found out it wasn't true and she slight she tried to sleep with me again. He told her where to go, but she came back crying to him, not knowing which way to turn. So, in a nutshell, wow, this is very complicated. So the girl that you were with and you broke up went and slept with another boy that a mutual friend of yours had set her up with, but your mutual friend had convinced your ex to sleep with the new boy by saying all these lies about you and your ex realized these were all lies and they weren't true and she came running back to you crying and wanting to sleep with you again wow honestly hon if she loved you she wouldn't have even contemplated sleeping with anyone else if she has come running back to you and wanting to sleep with you again then obviously she still might have feelings for you but you want someone who really truly cares for you and truly loves you obviously it's different for everyone and everyone feels differently certain amount of times after a breakup 
but this is such a crap situation to be in and i'm glad you told her where to go to be fair because she can't just sleep with someone else and run back to you and be like i want you that's not how life works that's not how feelings work i think this whole situation just shows a lot how much that she cared for you and i think you should just be the bigger person obviously don't be like oh i can sleep with her because she wants to sleep with me don't do that i think you need someone who's all about you and cares a lot about you no matter what this just doesn't sound like the case so i think honestly you should just move on you will 100 percent find someone that is all about you and will not believe stupid little lies that someone's told them and will just want to be solely on you and won't even like they'll have horse blinkers on when it comes to like other boys being here they'll be like no i want this person and you will find that person i'm telling you now <laughs> i think that's all we have time for today make sure to follow me on my instagram where i'll probably be asking in the near future for more suggestions this was actually really fun i really liked it let me know if you have any opposing opinions or if you want to give any extra advice in the comments make sure to like and subscribe to this video and i will see you in my next one bye OMG, it's Maya, she has sorted out a certain attire With makeup moments, lifestyle too, you'll never get bored OMG, it's Maya